Good morning, church. Pastor Linda here from Bethel Thetford. Psalm 1824. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. And today is Wednesday, May the 6th, and the time is 1040. Philippians 4, 6 and 7. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for what he has done. Then you'll experience God's peace which exceeds anything that you can understand. God's peace will guard your hearts and your minds as you live in Christ Jesus. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that we can get the peace that passes all understanding from you. All we have to do is reach out to you, to lean on you. I ask, Lord, that you be with us today. It's a beautiful sunny day out there, and the temperature is pretty good, too. We ask, Lord, that... This day is blessed for everyone, that people will experience good health, good mental health, good strength in the body, and an enthusiasm for life. I ask, Lord, that the message that goes out today is something that will give them hope. In Jesus' name, amen. <clears throat> okay, weather network. Lambton Shores. It says it's only uh, five degrees out, but it feels quite a bit warmer than that. And I think if you're working in the sun, it'll probably feel a whole lot warmer than that, unless there's a breeze coming. Every now and again, we do get uh, a decent breeze. It's going to be cloudy with sunny breaks this morning and more sun this afternoon. The low tonight is going to be two degrees. The sun will uh, carry on through the evening. And tonight it's supposed to be quite clear, so maybe we'll see some stars in the sky. Lambton Shores report. There's 192 cases. That's the same as yesterday. There's 16 deaths. There's, that's one more than uh, what we had yesterday. And 122 people have recovered. The Ontario report. There's now 18,722 cases. That's up. 412 cases. The deaths are up 68. There's 1,429 that have passed away because of uh, COVID-19. Recovered cases is 13,222. That's up 443. Praise God. Hospitalized is down. Um, it's down to 1,032. So 11 people get out of the hospital. ICU is 219 and that's down four now on the ventilators that's gone up it's 174. ontario is expanding its network of virtual mental health services for residents who may be struggling amid the covid 19 pandemic some have lost their jobs some have lost their customers some have had deeper loss premier doug <coughs> oh, excuse me Premier Doug Ford said at the news conference on Tuesday, a father, a mother, a grandparent, a friend, that kind of grief and stress, it has an impact not only on our physical health, but also on our mental, mental health. At a time when we all must practice physical distancing, it can be isolating not seeing family or friends for weeks. It can be isolating not having someone call or check in. The internet-based Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, ICBT for short, programs are part of the government's $12 million emergency investment in mental health announced last month and was developed in partnership with Mind Beacon and Manot Chappelle. These services include access to mental health support providers so that users can self-refer themselves into the programs of their choice, as well as telephone coaching. The government says the expansion will also work to support frontline health care workers who may be experiencing burnout, anxiety, and depression. There's the ones in the trenches. They're the ones working 12-hour shifts. Their jobs can be stressful and demanding, but every day they get up and they go to work. They help people and save lives. They're absolute heroes. They're the superheroes, if you ask me. And I can't thank them enough for everything that they do day in and day out. They take care of us, and we're going to make sure that we take care of them too. 
The province also announced the establishment of the Mental Health and Addictions COVID-19 Response Table to ensure that all residents have access to these services for the duration of the pandemic. The table, comprised of members from the Mental Health and Addiction Centre of Excellence at Ontario Health, has been tasked with maintaining the availability of these services throughout the outbreak. The response table is identifying concerns and implementing quick solutions, supporting virtual care strategies, sharing best practices, and connecting with other COVID-19 regional and provincial tables to ensure any issues impacting the province's mental health and addiction system are quickly resolved. Associate Minister of Mental Health and Addictions, Michael Terboli, Tabolo, underscored the importance of these services during the provincial lockdown. The unfortunate reality is that there is a tendency during these highly disruptive and stressful times for people not to always take the time to look after themselves or to check in with a friend a colleague or a loved one to see how they're really feeling. Our government's overriding priority is to ensure that all Ontarians have access to the high quality services and supports they expect and deserve, especially during these unprecedented times. We will continue to listen and work collaboratively across governments to ensure Ontarians are fully supported in their journey towards mental wellness. Ontario's emergency funding for mental health services is also being used to hire and train more staff at mental health agencies, as well as for the purchase of the necessary equipment and technology they need to help their patients. The Canada Report. Confirmed cases, 62,046. That's 1,274 new cases. Deaths, 4,043. That's up from 3,854 yesterday. Recovered, 26,993. That's 976 more recovered. In uncertain times, it is more critical than ever for Canadians to have access to good, high quality and nutritious foods. That is why the business who, businesses who provide Canadians with food they need to keep themselves and their family healthy. Prime Minister Trudeau today announced important measures within agriculture programs and an investment of more than $252 million to support farmers, food businesses and food processors who provide essential services to Canadians every day by ensuring a safe and reliable food supply. He also announced that the government intends, intends to propose an additional 200 million in borrowing capacity for the sector. The government of Canada will provide targeted support to farmers, ranchers, agricultural producers, and food processors by creating a $77.5 million emergency processing fund to help food producers access more personal protective equipment, PPE, adapt, a health protocol, adapt to health protocols, automate and modernize their facilities, processes, and operations, and respond to emergency, emerging pressures from COVID-19 so they can better supply Canadians with food during this period. Launching national agri-recovery initiatives of up to 125 million in funding to help producers faced with additional costs incurred by COVID-19. This includes set-asides for cattle and hog management programs to manage livestock backed up on farms due to the temporary closure of food processing plants. This new federal funding will help beef and pork producers and processors adapt to a changing market and help farmers and ranchers keep their animals longer before marketing. Announcing the int intention to increase the Canadian Dairy Commission's borrowing limit by $200 million to support costs associated with the temporary storage of cheese and butter to avoid food waste. The government will work with opposition parties to achieve the required leg legislative change. 
also launching a first ever surplus food purchase program with an initial $50 million fund designed to help redistribute existing and unsold inventories, which could include products such as potatoes and poultry to local food organizations who are serving vulnerable Canadians. Working with provinces and territories to increase interim payment from 50% to 75% through AgriStability, a federal, provincial, and territorial program that supports producers who face significant revenue declines. This change has already been enacted in some provinces. Working with provinces and territories to explore possibilities for expanding the Agri Insurance Program to include labor shortages as an eligible risk for the horticultural sector. This work with provincial and territorial partners would ensure ensure against lost production due to the insufficient workforce should producers be unable to find enough labor to harvest. The Government of Canada recognizes all workers across our food supply chain who provide an essential service to our country. We will continue to monitor and respond to the wide-ranging impacts of COVID-19 and take additional actions as needed to protect the health and safety of Canadians and stabilize the economy. So it looks like they're, each branch of the government is trying to do their best to support the people of Canada and to make sure they have the supplies and the uh, foods that are needed to keep us going. Scripture for today is Psalm 24, starting at verse 1. The earth belongs to the Lord and everything in it, the world and all its people. He built it on the waters and set it on the rivers. Who may go up in the mountain of the Lord? Who may stand in his holy temple? Only those with clean hands and pure hearts. Who have not worshipped idols, who have not made promises in the name of false gods. They will receive a blessing from the Lord. The God who saves them will declare them right. They try to follow God. They look to the God of Jacob for help, Selah. Open up you gates, open wide, you aged doors, and the glorious king will come in. Who is this glorious king? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord, the powerful warrior. Open up you gates, open wide, you aged doors, the glorious king will come in. Who is this glorious king? The Lord All-Powerful, He is the Glorious King, Selah. We're going to close in prayer, but before that, um, it is scriptural that we pray for all of our leaders. And I know some people get really um, up in arms about uh, who's in power because they didn't vote them in, or they didn't vote at all. In the democratic society, the important thing is that you get out there and you vote. And then you do all you can to make sure everything is being done the way it should be done. If you can join into the different organizations and you can do something positive. But one of the most positive things that you can do is to pray for your leadership. First Timothy 2, starting at verse 1, tells us, I tell you to pray for all people, asking God for what they need and being thankful for him. Pray for rulers and for all who have authority so that we can have quiet and peaceful lives full of worship and respect for God. This is good and it pleases God our Savior who wants all people to be saved and to know the truth. There is one God, one mediator, so that human beings can reach God and that way is through Jesus Christ. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word today. We thank you, Lord, that in difficult times we can always call out to you in prayer. We can open up our Bible and we can find the word that will answer our every situation. With the internet nowadays, you can just Google if there's a problem and just add scripture to it and it'll bring up the scripture that will help. And Lord, the directions in your word is to pray for our leaders. And we lift them all up to you today, Lord, right from the municipal leaders all the way through to the ones that lead the countries and the ones around the world. We ask that you be with them all and keep them strong. 
keep them positive, keep them focused on helping the people in their countries and in their writings, keep them at such a state of mind that they want everything to work out for the best for the people, not just for themselves, but for the people, because it's the people that votes them in. And we ask, Lord, that the advisors that are put in place are giving them wise advice, but the leader needs to have discernment to know if it's wise or not. And that's why we ask that you be with them all. And Lord, I ask that you be with the ones that are out working on the farms today. It's a beautiful day out there. That sun is shining. It's gorgeous. The ones that are running the equipment, we ask that you keep them alert so that they have no accidents. The ones that are working out there doing handwork in the fields, which is what we've got out back here, that we ask that you be with them and keep them well, Lord. My goodness, it's got to be hard on their backs. They bent over most of the time. We ask, Lord, that you be with the ones working in the processing plants making sure that the food's good to be sent out for the people to have and the ones in the canning plants as well lord keep them well keep them healthy and lord we lift up the ones in the grocery stores and variety stores and all of the other stores that are there to to help the people let them know just how much they're loved and how much they're appreciated lord there's so many people that are still able to be out there and putting their best forward for everyone through this time. And we lift up the people that are working in the nursing homes, hospitals, retirement homes, care facilities. So many of them are working 12 hour shifts and then putting in more hours on top of that. We ask that you keep them strong and keep them healthy, Lord. Keep them positive, keep their mental health strong. And we ask that you be with all of the clients and residents and patients that are in each of these facilities as well. Give them a peace that will pass all understanding that can only come from you. And Lord, everyone that's at home in isolation, I ask that you be with them as well. It's such a difficult time, Lord. It's, it's scary that you can't be going out and doing things and seeing other people. And it's hard on the mental state as well. And then when you get a chance, you've got to go out then you're frightened because you don't know what you're going to run into. And nobody wants to bring home an infection of any kind. So with that being said, Lord, I ask that you be with each and every one across the world. That you give us all the peace that passes all understanding. Be with us, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Ephesians 4, verse 3. Make every effort to keep yourself united in the Spirit. Binding yourselves together with peace. Rely on God's word. It'll keep you strong. It'll comfort you. Isaiah 41, 10. So don't worry because I am with you. This is God. He's saying that he's going to be with you through all things. Don't be afraid because I am your God. I will make you strong and will help you. I will support you with my right hand that saves you. Continue to hold each other up in prayer. Continue to pray for the leaders. Continue to reach out to make sure that your friends and neighbors and family are doing well. But don't go visiting. That's not a good plan. As you saw, the uh, counts were up today for the uh, infection. But the counts are down on other things, too. So, I mean, there's the good and the bad to it and the ugly. But we have to use wisdom. Listen to those in authority. Be obedient. God bless each and every one of you. And may God be with you until we meet again, which will be tomorrow morning.